Hey, it's Steve Cunningham here. Um, I want to uh, talk a little bit today about just a, a, a pretty simple little chord sequence in C6 tuning. Okay, and uh, C6 is kind of unusual for for me. Usually, I play in E6. And uh, uh, the, the cool thing about this particular application here is that pretty much everything is going to be on strings two, three, and four. So what we want to, what we want to do is if you're in a, a tuning other than C6, just look for the tuning, the, the uh, excuse me, the strings that give you a major second or a whole step, and then a minor third or a step and a half. Okay, so if you're in any kind of six tuning, you're going to have those three adjacent strings that are going to give you those intervals, so you should be good to go. Um, I put this in C6 just because I think it's probably, you know, probably more folks playing that than E6, so there you have it. Um, okay, so this example here is in, in the key of A, okay, so we go to the, the ninth uh, position, which is our A6 chord in C6 tuning, okay? Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of... Uh, blues these chords up a little bit. So one thing that you can do with, with uh, uh, little block chords is if you want to make it sound bluesy, you can just follow the first three or four notes of a blues scale, okay, and play something like this. So here's how this sounds. What I'm going to do is to take. To, we're going to start with the second chord here, which is the uh, the minor third above our home bass here. Okay. Now, the high note is uh, you know sort of clashes a little bit because it's, it has a minor third on top. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a string pull. I use my pinky. You know, use your third finger, whatever's easiest. And I'm going to pull that a half step to make that an A7 chord. So here's my A6, and here's my A7. A6, A7, and I can put the, the E on top, okay, which is going to be the 5 of A, so all together there, I've got a nice little A7 chord, A dominant 7th. All right, now to further blues this up, we're going to go to, to the 4th above A, okay, I'm up at the 14th fret, and we're going to take this high note which again is that is our, our, our fourth. We're going to give it that little, we're going to do a string pull to give it that little bluesy flourish there. And resolve that back to the A7, okay? So check this out. I can also use, use the slide, which creates a little bit more tension. So you know, you can use that stuff however you want, but I think it's kind of cool. It gives a little bit of motion and a, a little bit of a vocal quality to uh, to, to those chords, and uh, uh, allows you to sort of um, you know if you're comping or soloing in A, you know, it gives you a little bit of motion, a little bit of freedom. Now, one thing that I like to do myself and also with students is when, when uh, working in a new lick or any kind of new concept, is to take and put it in like a one four five progression, okay? Because um, part of the challenge here is if you're in A and you're a C6 player and you're used to the ninth fret being A, well, if you're starting this bluesy sequence, it actually starts up at the 14th fret, okay? So you need to be able to see that quickly, that relationship. So you need to have some sort of reference point. Now, I'll be honest, for me, being primarily a guitar player in standard tuning, my reference point is think of, you know, th this A chord here, you know, like if we were playing it kind of like this. I, I look and see this A triad here almost like kind of pretending I'm in uh, in standard tuning, which might be kind of jive to uh, some of you six, C6 guys, but that's just for me, you know, I need it, I guess. 
So here's my actual A position. Here's my little imaginary <laughs> standard tune guitar A. So I've got... Now if I'm going to the four chord, which is D, I can immediately go to my little D shape here, okay? Um, our actual D shape is down here, okay? So I'm going to leave that up to y'all as far as finding your own reference point. I mean, I'm sure you guys have uh, some, some things you could think of that I wouldn't even think of because I'm not really seeing this tuning uh, as much as somebody who plays in C6 a lot. So anyways, my little cheat thing for the D is to go to my D uh, standard tune triad. <laughs> And then back to the one. And then the E chord. And then the, the back to the four chord. And then the one chord. And then for the five chord, you know. So anyways, I, I hope this is of some value to somebody out there and uh, just mess around with this stuff and enjoy it and uh, good luck. See ya.